Hello, welcome back, or I'm back, uh, however you want to look at it. I'm 3D Model on YouTube, and in this tutorial I want to show you how to apply a bit more detail into the skinning of the character, and how, how to edit and to fine-tune uh, vertices transformations on a character. So, what I have here is a model that is already rigged. Um, the things that I've done here isn't that dissimilar from what I've done in other tutorials, so you should be able to, to do this. Um, if not, I suggest you go back and look at some of the other tutorials on, on rigging. There are, however, some uh, small things that I wanted to talk about um, before I move on here. The, um, the main thing is that if you look at, at the skeleton that I created here, is that the the different bones is actually scaled a lot uh, to look like the the bones where the transformations are supposed to ha occur um, or the, the um, or the mesh is actually at. So if you look at the um, at the clavicle uh, bone here, it's actually uh, made thicker, so it will fit better to the um, to the mesh. Also, the rib cage is larger and actually doesn't allow for bending. Um, most people will not be able to bend the rib cage as much. So, in a game, it it, it really doesn't matter whether you are able to have the bone or not. Um, the decreasing in numbers for the bones for the um, rib cage is actually a benefit for the computer program. So, it, the game will run faster, as well as other bones they are placed. Uh, approximately where they're supposed to be and, and their scale is also appropriate for the, the placements. Um, what I want to do before I move on here is actually to to rescale or reposition the foot here. Uh, in order for me to be able to do that I need to uh, remove the um, the skin on the, the model itself and then I can re uh, reset or re apply or do the transformation to the bone that I wanted. So I want to have the the knee joint a little bit further back that will allow for a better bending of the um, of the of the joint. So what you're looking for is not a an exact placement but uh, okay what's happened here? Um, did not go into Okay, so there you see it snapped back. That is because I moved the the bones in a um, in the um, in the non-figure mode, so it will snap back to the original position when it's in the uh, in figure mode. And then uh, when I go back, it will hopefully stick at the figure mode transformations. Um, but sometimes there can be some small issues, but for this, I think it will work. I just rescale, remove, and replace, and it should look good around there. Yes, and then I'm going to copy and paste the structure from one side to the other. There we go. And all the other bone looks like they should. So I say that's good. Um, the reason why I did that was because the the front of the bone was where the bending would occur and as you can see here the figure mode actually didn't snap back to the position where I wanted it to be so I'll do that manually or I'll just double click the other foot uh, no I won't because the, it's, its position is wrong I'll probably use this foot anyways copy and paste the posture and copy that to the other side the foot actually, yeah, it's pretty decent here. So, now um, for the interesting part. So, in order for me to be able to do any animation with it, I need to rig it uh, or to skin wrap it. So, I'm, I select the, the model, and then I'm going into the skin modifier here and selecting on review beam modifier, skin modifier. There you go. 
and it envelopes or add bones, add bones in this case select all the bones that I need um, I disregard the bipedal one which is the diamond shaped object inside the pelvis and if any of these things here has the, the last name of the of the um, of the finger joints or anything is called knob it's just a placeholder for the program to know where the the end of the bone is um, so if that's there uh, just deselect it make sure everything you have is only the bones that you want to use and select OK now um, I can go into the edit envelopes and I can see the envelopes where they are and their position and the weighting um, because I did the retouching before I can see that the weighting on the foot here isn't as good as I wanted it to be I can rescale it as you can see the the weights start to change this is a faster way to to get to a result where you can say okay this is as close as I can get at this stage so when this is done you can go into the fine tuning of the vertices and, and their weights as, uh, as separate objects so I will start by doing all this here and make sure that all the weighting, everything that I have here is appropriate for what I have and I'm happy with the results okay this is actually bent the other way I want to have a little more influence like so and you can see that the influence is actually changing um, you can actually go ahead and move this down if you wanted to so it will have another um, angle of influence I think this will be pretty decent as well the ribcage looks pretty good the arm also pretty good uh, lower arm decent hand yes fingers okay so here is actually where I want to go in and give it a little bit more detail and make sure that the vertices that I selected is only the ones I wanted it to be so by sliding these um, sliders here if I can hit the right one that one um, there you go I can actually decrease the area of influence for that um, particular um, envelope so so the only thing here to, to do here is actually just to make sure that the envelopes fit if you don't do this, this way you will have to do it manually for each individual vertice. So by doing it by this way, you will actually uh, you could shave off a little bit time of uh, the uh, later stages. But again, it's a matter of opinion, and I usually don't do this. I'll just do this now uh, to try it because I think it should actually work better but we can see that when we when we get the final result so for each individual joint you'll have to do this on the fingers because the fingers are, is, are denser at, at their tips so when this is done okay so actually the model is actually made to be a face rigged as well so what that means is that the face could have a rig um, I could actually use bones in the biped itself or I could add a new bone set to the face um, by adding bones uh, separately um, I won't do this uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this one now and then I'm going to show you how to edit the individual vertices and their weightings uh, appropriately for th for the different areas and how to animate and to make a test animation or not to make one but how to use the test animation to get a better result and, and see what you're doing to tweak the different vertices better so um, I'm 3D model on YouTube thanks for watching